So I really enjoyed the pilot. I really enjoyed watching you play out a character that's a little bit more chilled out than Justin. Yes. Justin yes. was so intense. Is it a relief for you to not have to be screaming constantly? Yeah, and it was like, <laughs> I made this joke, it was the first time I've gotten a smile in five years. So that was, uh, that was nice. And, you know, reading the script, obviously, uh, well, first of all, I was attracted to the title, 666 Park Ave. I mean, I think that that's sort of water cooler chatter right there. And, uh, and the character, I was like, oh, this is, you know, it's so far removed from Justin and, you know, it's sort of a little bit grown up and he's a little bit more of a man. And, and uh, so to get to play that was, was very exciting. And, you know, the note they gave me in the pilot because, it, you know, it's pretty heavy and, uh, and that you know, they basically said every line you say, say with a smile, you know, because I, my character in the pilot, um, you know, they wanted him to, to lighten it up a little bit and, and you know, not have the, the heavy drama, which was such a relief yeah. after uh, Brothers and Sisters. Once again, you're surrounded by an incredible cast. Yeah. I mean, I mean kind of the big league. I'm like, I don't know what I did in my life. Yeah, <laughs> Terry O'Quinn and Vanessa Williams and Rachel's fantastic and, and Rob Buckley and Mercedes. I mean, it's really, we're really uh, very fortunate, very lucky. And you're uprooting your life now with Odette. You're moving That's to New it. York. We're packing it up. Yeah, we leave tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, you know, we start shooting on Friday. I haven't even gotten the second script yet. So I was like cornering the producers. I'm like, guys, what's the deal? What's <laughs> happening? You know, sometimes actors like to prepare a little bit, you know. It's really exciting. I'm originally from New York, so to, to go back home and, and uh, you know, work in, in New York and have a, a great job and, you know, see my grandparents. I mean, it's, yeah. it's really exciting. And it must be nice to not have to fake New York. You know, a lot of shows yeah. are, are shot in L.A. They're supposed to be in New York and you can right. tell the difference. And I think that that's one of the most important things, I think, for our show because I feel like New York is another character in our show and, and all the architecture and the buildings and the history and, and you know, we don't want to be in, in, in Toronto on a soundstage creating New York. Uh, so it's good to, to have that energy and, and and be there and uh, you know we're shooting in, in Brooklyn and Williamsburg too so I mean that's that's really exciting and just getting back to brothers and sisters real quick you know I still get emails from people bummed that the show did not come back for that final 13 episode so my mom is still emailing you <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. Right. how do you feel about that do you feel like the sh uh, fans were cheated that you were cheated I do I, I unfortunately I, I feel that uh, you know we, we weren't told that it was the the end of our run and and I think if they had let us know that, um, you know, this this might be it, the writers would have taken a little bit of a different approach and tried to wrap up the series in more of a, uh, a way they wanted to and, and write a, a series finale instead of a season finale. Yeah. And and that's basically all it was, was the, uh, you know, season finale. And, and I tell you, you know, walking around every day, people are, uh, uh, you know, really bummed that the show was uh, canceled. And there were so many, you know, wonderful fans out there, love brothers and sisters. and. I mean, it was it was a really special time in my life. It was the best job I've ever had, and uh, you know, I definitely miss everyone because we were all very close. And mm -hmm. uh, but you know, still hang out with everyone and uh, have a little dinner with Sally in New York. You know, oh, nice. Name drop. I'll pick uh, that name up. It's stupid. <laughs> it's stupid.